Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Claudia. I make lifestyle bullet journaling and productivity videos here on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. It's really nice to meet you. So welcome to another bullet journal video. As you can tell from the title, I will be showing you four simple and minimalist bullet journal spread ideas. If you want to see more bullet journal content, whether it be advice, tips, tricks, or even more spread ideas, please be sure to check out the bullet journal playlist I have linked in the cards as well as in the description box. Now, before we begin, I want to say that please take these spreads as a foundation for you to build something that perfectly suits your needs. What's awesome and unique about this bullet journal method is that we can take this journaling system and mold it to how we see fit. So I encourage you to take these spread ideas and make them your own so you can make the most out of the bullet journal system. Now without further ado, let's begin! Hello, welcome to spread number one. So for this first spread, we are going to do a daily log. And what's different about this daily log is that we are including a time blocking section in it so you can track your activities and you can schedule in when you want to do what. First thing we're going to do is create the header. I'm just going to take my Muji 0.7 millimeter pen and I'm just going to write out the date up here. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a time blocking bar on the left side of the page. Next, I'm going to label the times of the day. So I'm going to start off at 7 a.m. and I think I'm going to end at around 1 a.m. For this time log, we're going to split the page in half. On the left side is going to be the time blocking section. And then on the right side, we're going to have your gratitude, your to-do list, and your daily accomplishments. I'll go into that further in a bit. But for now, I do want to point out that you can be as creative or as minimalist as you like with your time blocking. What I mean by that is that you can color code your activities to how you see fit with a zebra eyeliner marker or a highlighter of some sort, or you could just designate when you have to do what. So yeah, it's totally up to you. It's your bullet journal, so it's your rule. On the right side right here, I'm going to create a little header for gratitude. And this is where you can point form right out what you are thankful for. And then here is the to-do list. And then if we go to the very bottom of the page, we are going to leave a little section for your daily accomplishments. So this is where you could write out any wins of the day, like anything that went well that day, anything that you accomplished that you want to make note of anything memorable, whatever it is, you can jot it down right here. And this is what the daily log looks like. Spread number two is going to be a bills tracker. For the header, I will be using my stamps and stamp pad, and then I will be stamping out bills tracker. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write out the months of the year. So this is where you can customize it to however you see fit. So you can make a three month bill tracker, you can make a six month, or you can make an annual one. I will be writing January to December. I will just write the first letter of each month. Next, I'm gonna create a little example of what your bill tracker is going to look like. I find it hard to explain, so let me just quickly do it first. This is what your bill tracker will look like for every single bill that you are tracking. And in these squares, this is where you could color in the box to let yourself know that you've paid that bill for that month, or you could write the date that you paid that bill, or you could write the amount. This is up to you. This is where you can choose what necessary information needs to be in this spread.
And this is where you write out whatever bill that you're tracking. Here are some examples. And this is what the bills tracker looks like. Spread number three is going to be a meal tracker, meal planner, shopping list tracker, and eating out tracker kind of spread. So it's gonna take up two pages. First, we're going to start off with the meal planner slash meal tracker. So up here, I will stamp out meals. And this is a weekly spread, so you can totally make this a monthly thing, but I think weekly works the best for this kind of spread. Next, I'm going to write out the days of the week as well as the headers for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And this is what the meal tracker slash meal planner looks like. So for your meal planner, you can totally just jot down and brainstorm what kind of meals you want to have for your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And for meal tracker, you can use this to track what meals you had for that week. The next header will be the shopping list. For the shopping list, I think to make things clearer for you so you don't have this humongous list of things you gotta purchase, I think it's best to categorize what you need to buy. So we're gonna split all the items into six different groups. We're gonna have produce, meat, grains, dairy, frozen, and miscellaneous. You can totally customize this shopping list to whatever categories you see fit. Maybe you don't eat meat or maybe you don't eat dairy or grains or whatever. So totally make this list suit your needs. Last but not least, the last section will be the eating out section. So this is where you can jot down and track whenever you go out to eat, whether it's takeout or it's you actually dine in at a restaurant or you go to a cafe, whatever it is, you can jot it down right here. The headers for this little section will be Place. This is where you'll write out the name of the cafe or restaurant you went to. Next is item. If you want, you can also write the price out so you can keep track of how much you spend when you eat out. And there we go. This is your meal tracker, meal planner, shopping list kind of spread. The fourth and final spread is going to be a spread for those who menstruate. So this is going to be a period tracker. As usual, I will take my stamps and stamp pad and I will stamp out the words period tracker for the header. Like with most tracker spreads, you can choose how long you wanna track something. So for this tracker, I will be only tracking for six months. You can totally make this period tracker a monthly thing or an annual thing. It's totally up to you and how long it takes for you to finish a bullet journal. But as an example, I will be tracking six months. For the header of the spread, I will write out the first letter of each month. After that, I will write out the dates of the month, so from the 1st to the 31st. Right now, you can keep your tracker as it is, like this. This is totally fine, but if you want to go the extra mile, you can create a grid. next thing to create is a key or a legend so you can designate certain symbols or certain colors to represent whatever happens during your menstrual cycle. So here are some examples of what you could track. This is an example key, you can totally change it up to how you see fit.
last part of this spread is including a little note section. And this is where you can jot down anything that you want to remember, whether it's you having a really heavy flow that month, or you were really emotional a certain month, or you found yourself eating certain foods, or you found yourself rewatching the same sad romantic anime like I do. Whatever it is, you can make note of it right here. And this is what the period tracker spread looks like. Here is the flip through of the spread so you can see it once more. And that's it! Those are my four simple and minimalist bullet journal spread ideas. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, just giving me all this love and support for this channel. It truly means the world. Thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps the channel quite a bit. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.